Hello, and welcome to Fear Flicks. Today we're taking a look back at one of my all-time favorite television series growing up. It was one that not only provided years of entertainment and scares, but also managed to make a very profound impact in many people's lives. An impact that neither myself nor this show could ever possibly begin to describe or recreate. Today, we're taking a fond look back at Unsolved Mysteries. For those of you who don't know, uh, Unsolved Mysteries was a television series that ran from 1987 to 2002 and was hosted by the man himself, the legend, Robert Stack. The show was sort of a documentary style series that presented real life unsolved mysteries and featured reenactments of the stories in between interviews from actual people involved in the cases. There were cases about murder, kidnapping, disappearances, the supernatural, and just about every other subject in between that could make your blood run cold. For me personally, I grew up in the 90s and Unsolved Mysteries was a huge part of my childhood. It was a daily ritual for me. I always watched reruns of it on the Lifetime Network. It had a big impact on me when I was a little kid for various reasons and it still has an impact on me now as an adult rewatching it, uh, just for slightly different reasons now. Everything about this series could leave an impression on you that you'd never forget. From the iconic voice of Robert Stack with that hypnotic stare that you could just never seem to take your eyes off of, to the bone-chilling cases of murder, kidnappings, ghost stories, and unexplained disappearances that were always emphasized beautifully by the absolutely terrifying ambient music that layered every single segment. I could seriously write a book on all of the nightmares and the chills that this show gave me watching it as a kid. It just freaked the shit out of me anytime I watched it, and no matter what type of case it was, whether it was a ghost story, especially the ghost stories, those were scary as shit back then. Even the, you know, the kidnappings, the murders, the disappearances, seeing stories about kids being kidnapped out of their beds at night and just being kidnapped by their own family members sometimes at a young age and never being found and having no trace of the kid ever being found. It's terrifying. The reenactments just always felt so real. You know, even when you would see those wonderfully terrible 80s special effects they'd throw in there on occasion, something about the way it was filmed and the way it was presented always made you feel really uncomfortable. Almost like you were watching something you shouldn't be seeing. It felt like you were seeing a real life video of a crime being committed or some type of horrible act being committed. And even with the ghost stories, it felt like you were really seeing a ghost or seeing a, a dead person. Some of the cases where somebody just completely vanishes without a trace, yet the circumstances of their disappearance are just so unsettling and so confusing you can't help but rack your brain as to what could have really happened to them. They even had a number they would show that viewers could call if they had any info or any tips on any of the cases profile. It's kind of funny that, looking back on this show now, the cases that terrified me the most were the cases of, you know, ghosts and demonic possession and alien abduction and haunted houses and all that stuff. But now, obviously as an adult, I'm a lot more terrified by the murders, the kidnappings, the disappearances, the abductions. The horrors of real life as an adult are obviously a lot more terrifying to me now than the supernatural stuff was to me as a kid. Cases like the one of nine-year-old Michaela Garrett from Hayward, California, who in broad daylight while standing outside of a grocery store with her friend, was abducted. She was grabbed by a man, thrown into the back seat of a car, and driven away. Recently, Unsolved Mysteries was released for streaming on Amazon Prime, and uh, that was really where I was able to finally dive back into this series for the first time since my childhood. But the difference now was that they added updates to a lot of the cases uh, that were profiled get like current updates from 2018 which is really an incredible thing to do uh, it was always very uplifting to see an update a positive update uh, at the end of a story now it gives it a new reason to rewatch the show to see the updates of these stories and I remember when I got to the episode that featured Michaela's story I couldn't help but notice that there was no update at the end of that story and to be quite honest, I was a little surprised at how short the story was, and for whatever reason, it really stuck out to me. Um, it was a story that really affected me uh, pretty deeply, and uh, don't really know why, but you know, considering how many cases of, 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 abduction, of abduction and child kidnapping that as, a, as an adult you hear about constantly, 
for whatever reason, this story in particular really uh, affected me. And uh, even more so watching the, the short story that they had on Unsolved Mysteries and seeing that there was no update at the end uh, really made me think. Michaela Garrett was abducted on November 19th, 1988. And 30 years later now, her family still has no answers, um, yet they've never given up hope. Her mother has never given up hope, even 30 years later. Uh, they've never stopped searching and never stopped hoping that one day their daughter will walk through the front door and come home. I can only imagine what the family has to be going through to have all of that time go by with just so little answers, just being deprived of, of knowing. The disappearance of Michaela Garrett is just one of thousands of cases profiled on Unsolved Mysteries during the course of its air. Her story is proof that just one of these stories out of a thousand others is enough to leave a lasting and profound impact on someone and to make us truly appreciate the things in life that we all too often take for granted. So I hope I've inspired at least a few of you out there to check out Unsolved Mysteries because despite its campiness, despite its very nostalgic feel, it really was a pretty groundbreaking show for its time and it's still pretty groundbreaking even to this day. During its time on the air, the show managed to solve hundreds of cases, get countless murderers and criminals of all kinds off the streets, bring loved ones back home, and even managed to solve cases even after the show had gone off the air. That's a pretty incredible thing that very few shows can say that they've accomplished in their time. It's one of the many things that makes shows like Unsolved Mysteries stand out from all the rest. The bottom line is that this show just may leave a lasting impression on you as it did myself and many others over the years who've watched the show. Uh, and in the immortal words of Robert Stack, the man himself, maybe you can help solve a mystery.